Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of fast food uh, project in ASP.NET Core. So here you can say that uh, uh, Smith is already logged in into the system. So just when we click and here we have the name and the phone and the time of the pick you want to uh, do this. So first of all add a date and the time also and also validate that input control. So just open that and just go for the summary.cshtml file and here we have uh, just after that you can just add uh, a date picker control. So here you can say that is now here we have just copy and one more time paste and order header dot phone and here you can say that order header dot date picker so order date okay and type of the text you can say and in which you can say that uh, pick date and you can say pick time okay so that's fine now save this and you will see here we have another uh, control that is the date picker okay so the next thing here we have that like this just I want to set the date so type is text instead of date and here you can see in some changes like that and also validate the input controls so here we have some provide some ID property like uh, that is the phone that is the date but uh, just I want to add externally so uh, you can see when we click on to the submit button here we have a plus order button is there now just go just under section you can say script is right now just you have to add it here uh, script and inside the script you can say that uh, on click event handling on the button control on click is written and uh, input validate that is the function name and that function name you can use it here function validate input okay and the next one is just I want to pick all these names and uh, here we have ID property of this ID equals to uh, name text okay and ID equals to phone text name text phone text date text okay so ID equals to date text and the next one is oops equals to time text okay now everything is fine now just go for the next part here we have and check where uh, date okay so document dot get element by id and here you can say the id property is date for date text dot value where time document dot get element by id and here you can say 
time text dot oops dot value okay the next one is the where name document dot get element by id and the here you can say name text dot value oops so we'll just change this and here you can say control dot d and the name and the phone oops. and here you can say phone text okay so the first thing is to remind in the uh, date so if if you can say date dot to string dot to string dot length okay is double equals to zero i mean to say that uh, nothing have to select the date so just i want to use alert please select pick up date Okay, and the next one is otherwise written false. Okay, so that is the if block. Now the same thing you can do with the time. So just copy this and paste it here. Else if you can say consider it else if or if also so here you can say that time dot to string dot length is zero then pick up time the next one is else if and with the name property so name dot to string dot length is double equals to zero. So pick up name is must to add. And the next one is else if phone dot to string dot pick up a phone number. Please select phone number. Or you can say please add phone number. So everything is fine else written true else written true so everything is fine now just go for save and check it again okay just go for the uh, card and here you have to proceed to pay and if it if it is one entry is missing so select please add phone number so everything is fine so first of all add the phone numbers right here okay so everything is fine now after that uh, just i'm going to design http post method for the summary control so just you can use it here and just and just write it here http post and you know that here we have a summary control and in the summary control just you can take string uh, stripe token okay and return view direct to action index okay so just I am going to take uh, like that and uh, bind property that is card order view model that is the details right here 
and here we have uh, order detail view model right now so also you can use bind proper property with the order detail view model here we have order detail view model and here you can say that uh, in the summary control so like that cart order view model so here we have a cart order view model that is the detail section okay so uh, that is the cart order view model and that is the details order header and the list of the cart so cart order view model is what list of the cart and order header but uh, in the order detail view model here we have a ok 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 so just remove that part from here order detail view model is actually related to the orders but here we have a cart order view model so only the cart uh, detail is right there in the summary uh, page so in the summary page just you can see in the summary page here we have a cart order view model now you can see and just check it again in the what you can see inside it in the cart order uh, cart controller so cart have a uh, list of item you can say the cart order view model right there and just go to the definition part and here we have a list of the cart items so here you can see that the part just click on to the login and uh, okay so just click on the place order button and here you can say that that is the mail id and 4242 4242 4242 4242 and the yy is 05 and 123 and 123 just plus order and okay so the card order is actually just post to this method but it is not hit actually it's not hit that is the summary page when we just click on that so in the summary dot html file esp action is the summary and uh, method is not defined right here okay just check it again 